Shut up and sit down. What's up, squids? We finally, finally have some Lucas Oil Pro Motocross National Tracks to play on. Oh, man. So we are taking a look at MX versus ATV, the DLC that just dropped for the uh, Lucas Oil Pro National Tracks. I am taking a look at Washugal uh, this first time. Uh, this track is about oh, one hour away from me. Um, so we are... Uh, I'm actually going to be going to the national this weekend. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, pick out a good spot um, to watch. Uh, I'll try to figure out what the best place is. Hey, if you guys have been before, let me know. Let me know where the uh, where's the best place to uh, set up for the uh, main events. All right. So I am currently sitting in 47th position for uh, Washougal on PC. Um, it looks like I'm right behind uh, Nick Gunzig uh, from uh, Gunzig Gaming. Take a look at his channel if you if you don't watch him already. He does some good challenges on Supercross, uh, MXGP, and this game. It looks like he's playing. I'm also a little bit behind uh, Yellow S 2K. Um, I did see Kellen and Spencer Charlie and uh, who else did I see uh, down down below a little bit? I think they were in the 60s at the time of this filming. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can at least pass Goonzig. I mean, we got to do that, right? Uh, so I have done a few laps on this track. I, I was I was leveling up my bike, uh, you know, trying to uh, get the full upgrades on this 450. And I was able to do that. I had to do a lot of uh, races. And I, I am running a competitive tune. Uh, per, per, if you, if you guys have watched, uh, Guitar Daniel, that's another YouTuber. Take a look at him on his, uh, commentary for, uh, competitive and also realistic tunes. He lets you know how to set up your bike for a realistic tune to get a little bit more realistic gameplay. Uh, right now I am just going for a fast time. I just wanted to see what this is all about. See if I can work my way up, work my way up those, uh, lap time records there so I am my best time was a 229 pretty terrible but we're already oh, almost looping out there all right we just cut at least 15 seconds off right there so doing good 214 boom all right on to the next laps all right so I just wanted to see so Eli Tomac in 2018 did a 210 uh so that's kind of weird. I don't know if it was the same configuration of track, uh, of the track that year, last year. It's what they replicated for this year. But if I'm not playing on a realistic tune and, and you know how fast this game goes, pretty somewhat unrealistic, uh, man, either Eli Tomek and those guys are just freaking fast or, uh, the scaling on this track is a little bit off. Um, I know there's some way faster guys at the the front of the leaderboards uh sub 210s i know but i'm gonna see if i can at least work my way up to be eli tomac's time from 2018. uh what do you guys think is the scaling correct i've not ridden washugal i have uh i've actually done a spartan race there uh where you use part of the part of the track i actually had to run up uh horsepower hill on foot that was not fun and then coming down you coming down this hill too right there that wasn't that was almost not as fun as going up the hill uh but fun day doing a spartan race out of washugal i've also done a few uh, cyclocross races there uh using part of the track and uh yeah really cool i'm hoping to do uh, if i can get my uh enduro bike uh by next year i'll be doing uh, some enduros i know that they hold out there But yeah, I think I'm, I'm just guessing that the scaling is slightly off. I don't know, just just for the times that I've seen that people do and, and the way that you ride, not realistically. Uh, I do not think Eli Tomek and those guys are this fast. <laughs> so I, I think they scaled it to work, you know, with their with their engine. Yeah, but man, I am really, all of the DLC tracks are awesome. Uh, you know, 
I think they're worth it. Hey, if you're on PC, they are on sale right now for $11.99 instead of $14.99 on Steam. Uh, so take a look at it. Uh, I I definitely recommend picking this up. If you're a if you're a milestone guy only, you only play MXGP or Supercross, and man, you definitely want to check out these tracks. I think they have they have set the bar. Rainbow THQ Nordic has set the bar on what a replica track should be like. Even if it didn't have the deformation, uh, Rainbow's deformation system, uh, just the roughness of the, the built-in tracks and the, the, the built-in roughness and the built-in um, built ruts uh, in the corners, that alone is, I mean, milestone. You have to take notes on this. Uh, these all four tracks that that came out uh loretta, loretta lynn's is is pretty fun i like the the bigger national tracks better uh but i would say they are the best tracks that i have played in a motocross game uh mxgp i can't think of one track that i like some of the layouts in the tracks there's some great ones in there i'm uh, in the mxgp series but the actual just the look of the track uh the roughness uh the length of the track uh everything the scaling just really they hit it out of the park on these and i wish and i hope that they can get the other six races from the the beginning of the year and i can't wait to try unadilla uh, that's supposed to be coming out it's supposed to be the week of the race so i'm assuming it should come out this week but uh maybe it's going to come out uh the the tuesday or the monday after the race i have i do not know right now if you guys know let me know in the comments when unadilla is supposed to drop because yeah i definitely want to play that they're pretty liberal on your ugh, off track excursions here um and resetting so they let their times go with that uh, i am looking at i am up on my time by four point some seconds 209.58. Okay, I I beat Eli Tomek. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, I'll try a little bit more. Guys, yeah, I man, these tracks are great. Oh, and see like that? You don't really crash in corners, but you can mess up in a corner. And like that one, I stuffed it right into the uh into that berm, into that rut, got stuck. Man, guys, I really enjoy these tracks. Uh, let's see where I'm at in the leaderboards. Come on. No whammies. I am up to 15th place. Look at that guy. Old Man Winter. I saw him playing online. He's at number 8 at the 206. I know I have extra time that I can get in there. I don't know if I'm that fast, but man, I think the top 10 is within sight, but it's early days. I know you guys have put in a lot of fast laps. If you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks again for watching me, and I'll talk to you on the next one.